Before you guys start adding your coils, you have to make what's called slip, S-L-I-P. And the slip is the glue of the ceramic world. So in order to do this, you need just a small container. It doesn't have to be ceramic. It can be, you know, um, just a little bowl that you don't really use. Or it can just be a plastic container left over from something. You're going to take a chunk of your clay. It doesn't have to be a coil. I just happen to have one sitting here. And you're going to kind of chump, chop it up into little chunks. And then we're going to add water to this. And we're going to stir it up. And that's how you get your slip. So usually I tell kids about half clay, half water. Um, but because we're starting with a pretty moist clay, I would probably add a little bit more water. If your clay was more dry, you wouldn't need as much. And then you'll take your fork and you'll just kind of start smashing this up in the water until you get kind of a mix, a pancake mix substance. So you want it to kind of feel like batter. If it gets really, if it gets all like mushed up and it feels really liquidy, just add some more clay to it. And you can use your fingers to mash this up too. That's fine. It's kind of fun sometimes. So this is what I mean. Just kind of motion it up. You're basically making some mud. Clay is mud. But remember, this is the glue of the ceramic world. So anytime you add two pieces of clay together, you have to use slip. At my own studio at home, I just use a blender, but the blender is not something that I use to cook. It's only my blender for the studio. So I'm able to do that. So don't go into your kitchen and use your mom's good blender. And you're going to keep blending and keep blending until you have this mix.